Alrighty guys, so with solo leveling right, it's been out for 24 hours, you know, people are grinding, people are doing their thing, and um, well, I really should have made this video beforehand, um, hopefully people haven't gone too crazy, but uh, summoning, yes. Now, obviously there's two banners, you've got the rate up banners, which require the premium ticket, and then you've got the custom draw banner, or the selective banner, call it what you will. Now, the custom draw banner requires these black tickets, which do get given out a lot. From when I last counted, um, with Solo Leveling Arise, you can earn 800 plus, but I think right now we're getting around about maybe like a thousand plus tickets that this game actually gives you to use on that custom banner. Um, and of course, at the very beginning, a lot of you will find it through story missions each chapter will give you two there's sub chapters that you can complete so there is a lot of tickets that you guys will be gaining at the very beginning of solo leveling arise and uh, from that one thing that i would suggest is don't spend it all because of something very very interesting and that is because of Choi being in this custom draw banner right obviously at the very beginning if you guys do want to drop a few multis here and there just to kind of get your account started maybe get some SSR hunters maybe get some weapons go for it I think that would be the best option actually <laughs> at, at, you know at the very beginning actually get some summons in so that way your account is uh, at a point where you can actually progress even further with ease and you've got stuff to work on so please do that but don't spend everything i made that mistake um even though yes i do i i am paid to win but um it, it was near the end where i had a few more packages and whatnot left for the tickets where i'm just like hold on a minute what if they add things into the custom draw banner because at the end of the day i'm, I'm trying to avoid using diamonds truth be told because that's just going to be way too much so if i can rely on just saving tickets i think that'll be more beneficial and in reality um i was right i, I should have saved uh, because obviously the first way or the, the, the first introduction to the custom draw banner was this weapon and this is one of the most broken weapons in the goddamn game if you can cater to getting dupes on the moon dagger weapon then fair play because truth be told the biggest broken combination that the game has is these two weapons ever since the new weapon came along the moon dagger you can kind of throw the cypher away and this is kind of like the new broken combination pair um that is kind of like overall broken i mean of course you've got um other weapons that are you know effectively still good but i just kind of wanted to throw that in there so that you guys understand that these tickets right here it's best to save them and not drop the gun and this confirms it even furthermore because choice in here now i did start my global account which i'm still trying to get because of my luck by the way i spent two and a half hours trying to start a good global account i've still yet to pull anything so yeah two and a half hours just want to throw that in there oh my god anyway um so now because Choi, Choi was the first rate up banner that we had and his rate up banner disappeared and lo and behold he is now in the custom draw banner which leads us to believe the same thing will happen with beast potentially the same thing could happen to Chaiyan. so you can really maximize on picking up characters through the custom banner if you choose to now on top of that just so we're aware and just so you guys know there are new weapons coming into the game and as it stands this is the banner that they are going to be introduced in and because there's four items you need to pick for a rate up it's going to be difficult to get and so you kind of want to have your best chance possible potentially have a lineup of characters and weapons that if, even if you don't pull the new weapon of course you still got a good chance of getting something that is going to really help you through your account that's kind of like the setup that you want of course just so you're aware like two other weapons that we are eventually going to be getting is of course the phoenix bow which is uh the fire weapon as well as the water pistol which just kind of freezes i believe on the core attack so that's going to be fantastic as it stands right now by looking into the new weapons coming into the game they're all broken <laughs> As it's that they're all friggin' broken, so it's it's clearly a chase weapon, of course. So that's something that you want to be prepared for and cater to. Uh, but at the same time, um, obviously, as I said, you kind of want to start doing some initial summons just to get your account, you know, going, of course. And it's 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 a tough call to make because to be fair, at the very beginning, anything to everything can help you out. So just to give you guys an idea for myself, when I started my global uh, solo leveling rise account, these were the two weapons that I managed to pull, which 
ultimately did fantastic because of course the uh, demon longsword helped me out in doing counter attack doing the lightning damage um, so that was super super effective and then of course having the gray more to get that ranged attack going on and then freezing the enemy to the damage OT, um, dot over time once they're un unfrozen um, really did effectively help out so like as I've said, SSR weapons as of right now, being whatever you pull, um, will help you out, of course. Now, at the very beginning, I mean, because I've done a whole video on this, on, on the selection list, on what we're looking at. And obviously, Chaiyan is going to be a unit which I would say go for, please get, at the, at the very beginning of your account. But when it comes to the custom draw, because um, of course, Choi's in here now, so that kind of switches things up. But, you got Chaiyan. So I would stick my gun to say Jiwoo or Emma. I, th I think I think those two, because we're going to do a 2-2 ratio. I think that'd be very best. Um, I think Jiwoo, uh, Jiwoo and Emma will be your best bet. And then always have a 2-2. And then the next two, I mean, I think, I, honestly, it, it, it's going to have to be that. It's going to have to be that. Unless you want to take, uh, no, no, you need the plum sword. Unless you want to do that. That works too, but I these two together are just absolutely phenomenal. So there's that. But you, again, you can switch out and get the Grey Moor in. Th th this book is not this Grey Moor book not to be slept on, not to be slept on. But I would say that um, units wise, if you are comfortable bringing one breaker because they're both technically breakers, I would say off with Emma. And then again, if you want that healing, if you want the support for Chain, you can do so. More breakage for light support if, if that's what you want. And if, or if you just want to maximize your damage output, yeah, go for it. That's complete. I mean, yeah, <laughs> to be fair, having Chai in and then Ji Wu together and then uh, Choi, that, that, that's truly maximizing damage output. Wait, at that point, I think that would be the most damaging team ever with like your, your damage output, that is. Truth be told, that, 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 that's what it would be. So, you know, but I would say that th this lineup would be your best. Oh, th this is the lineup that I would recommend, to be honest. But I would say you can switch in and out if you want the book too. Again, it's good for coverage too. There's that. Just keep in mind, you do get two copies of the Scythe for free uh, on the challenges once you progress through story. So just yeah, keep that in mind. But also, as I've mentioned before, you know there are SRs in the game that are not to be slept on. So obviously, with the characters, Nam do not sleep. Do not sleep on her if you pull her. Uh, Huang do not sleep on him. He's a very good darker tank. Uh, Junho and Juhi are free characters, they're effectively good. Park is one of the best SRs in the game. Kang is an extremely good uh, bleed unit, I would say, so don't sleep on him. And then, of course, Kim is fantastic when it comes to providing shield, so can't go over that. And it's not too bad, and, and, and it's not too bad, I'll, I'll say that. And then, of course, with the weapons, even though the West Wind has been, because I need to do a video on this, the West Wind has been nerfed from what it was beforehand, it's still effectively a really solid SR weapon, so it's not that bad of a nerf. Um, so that's good. Obviously, the, um, the, the the longbow. This is I would class the best SR weapon that the game has to offer. So this is the one that majority of you want to. If you have this bow, work on it. This is your bread and butter. This is your bread and butter. Uh, the Eye of Sauron is an amazing burst weapon. So don't sleep on that. Obviously, the Venom Fang we do get given. Put a little bit of time into that. Good little bleed unit, uh, bleed, bleed weapon right there, of course. So there's that Lustrous Sword. You can put a little bit of time into. Um, yeah, and then the rest is just universally uh, okay to have for Hunters and, and Jim Wu if you need those stats. But other than that, that, that's what I would recommend for the SRs and what you want to look out for. But anyway, just kind of wanted to go over that so that everyone is aware that when it comes to these tickets, if you've done a good amount of initial summons and you're comfortable with where your account is at, stop. Chill. Let's see what happens. Because if Beast disappears and he's in this banner, this then just confirms that everything is going to be so it, it, it basically confirms that the draw banner is our second lifeline um to get more of them should i say or characters that you don't have you know so save if, you, if you've done a good amount of initial summons already by grinding up tickets and whatnot and again you're good you're chilling save if you haven't do a little bit more summons get your account up hopefully rng is in your favor get some ssrs going go with the ones that if you want to go with what i um uh, suggested however I mean, truth be told, if you do get some other SRs or SSRs that pop up, then you get like Lee Bora, she's decent. Um, Yonho is a fantastic light breaker, of course, right? So as long as you get some SSRs uh, loaded up onto your account, then you'll be A-OK. -okay. And again, with the weapons themselves, you know, they're all good. 
they're, they're all good in, the, in their own way. So even if you do have, let's say, this as your lineup, right? And you don't pull any of the rate up, but for example, let's say I pull <laughs> the Demon Longsword, I'll take it. That's a fantastic counter weapon. Um, and plus that's wind coverage. So, you know, got to, got, to look, got to look at it that way, of course. So that is what I would um, just inform you guys on. Again, um, that was my mistake. Because I, when this weapon came out, I really wanted to cater to it, but I just couldn't. I've thankfully got one copy, but I need more. I want more. This weapon is just too damn good, um, especially with just it kind of falling in line with your shadow step and then piling on damage through there, because it correlates with the shadow step, so that it, it's it's stupidly broken. And um, if I knew about how the how the custom banner was going to work, then I would have saved 100%. I, I I would have saved a lot of tickets. Let me let me tell you that. But I jumped the gun and I just kept on summoning at the very beginning trying to get dupes for other characters when in reality I could have just took my time with. So my mistake, best to summon when there's new broken weapons about and that way while you're summoning for those you never know other characters might pop up. That's the best way to go about it, maximizing your summons. So there we go. That's all I wanted to inform you guys on. Don't make the mistake I did. Save a little bit if you can. Summon at the very beginning but at the, at the end of the day try and save if you can and then prepare yourself for the upcoming uh, new weapons and um, potential rate up characters going into the custom draw so that way you can obtain those characters that way technically speaking that would be more smart because I mean you're saving your essence for more broken characters although Chayen is absolutely disgusting and broken so yeah there's that anyway that's what I would suggest when it comes to hunters and weapons and more importantly with the custom draw with your um, black tickets on going about saving them